In every presentation, there are three possible outcomes for the presenter. Number one, a good impression was made. Number two, a bad impression was made. Or number three, no impression was made. Now, the biggest blunder most presenters make is not humiliating themselves or freezing up on stage. No, no. The huge disaster most presenters create is that they show up, give their presentations, come across as professional, polished speakers. They give their presentations exactly, and I mean exactly as planned. No problems. Then they sit down. So what's the problem? Here it is. Ask the audience members what any of these speakers actually said. And they say, oh, great presentation, very professional. And yet, they don't remember anything the presenter actually tried to communicate. The presenter had an opportunity to really communicate a message, but he blew it by being guilty of sameness, monotony. In an effort to avoid making a bad impression, the presenter ended up making no impression at all. Think about it. Think of how many presentations you hear at the office, civic clubs, sales meetings, trade conventions, church, school, and yet how many do you remember six months later, six days later, or even six hours later? Foolproof speakers realize this problem, so they don't waste their time trying to avoid the bomb. The secret, don't focus on not making a bad impression. Instead, spend your time figuring out how to leave a lasting, positive impression. The solution is to give real thought to becoming more memorable, not simply conveying more facts, more data. This doesn't necessarily mean more time or expense or fancy props. It just means a little more creativity and setting yourself apart from the crowd of average presenters. So when Steve Jobs wants to demonstrate how thin his new laptop is, he doesn't just flash up a slide that says laptop thickness 0.25 inches. That would be boring. Instead, he demonstrates how thin the laptop is by pulling it out of an envelope. Total cost, 79 cents. Yet the image is so powerful that it can't be forgotten days, weeks, or even months later. What are you doing to make sure you leave an impression, any positive impression, on your audience? When you consider this question, you'll realize that it's not really a gamble to try that new story or a PowerPoint slide with a little humor or to ask audience members questions even though you don't know how they'll respond. All of these attempts to mix it up will increase the odds that you don't end up being instantly forgotten. Doing what everyone else is doing, playing it safe, just to avoid bombing, that's, that's the real gamble because you will likely make no impression on your audience at all. You must do something, anything, in order to get people to leave with a positive impression of you and your ideas.